boy kicks girl. What? As some of you know, you may have seen me at the Ireland Cosplay Con. I cosplayed as Olivia Moore from iZombie. So here we are with my Cosplay Con haul, y'all. <coughs> so there's this awesome alternative dark uh, musician slash comic book writer, illustrator person um, called Venus de Vilo. Venus had a stall going on, so I kind of bought one of everything. Because if, for 10 euro, you can get one of everything on the table and a hug. So I made sure I got my hug. Ooh, oh, it was a calendar. I kind of, I love this. It's very, it's so old school. It just makes me happy. Look at this. Look at this, look at the calendar. Oh, uh, it reminds me of sort of old Tim Burton. Like, remember when he did the melancholy tale of Ulster Boy in other stories? Pokemon fan art. I, because I got one of everything, she also does these little clay um, sort of Pokemon characters, and I got a little Poliwhirl in a jar. I didn't know what it was at first. I was like, ah, and they told me it was Poliwhirl because I haven't. I only know the original Pokemon because I don't pay attention to new things. Um, I also have her CD, which I haven't had a chance to listen to yet because I don't have a CD but what to me was the Creepy Mon Alphabet which is a collection of sort of like it's like an alphabet book for kids except it's with Pokemon and it's all based on creepypasta here it is the Coffin Sniffers it's time for a bedtime story I'm actually going to do a section of Boy Geeks Girl on this on their blog and I will put all of Venus de Vilo's links. I didn't really buy anything for the baby because um, I think he's still a little bit too young to read about coffin snuffers. And he's old enough, I will show him. Gigasaurus. Now, um, for myself, I got these little Gamora earrings. Gamora! Ooh! Here we go, I'll take out the packaging so you can actually get a proper... And this is by Gigasaurus. Look at this. It's 3D! Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, you can see the back of it. Um, with a little teapot and drink me thing. And here you go, yay. Um, I got this for my, for Michael's daughter. See, like, fun for all the family. I mean, otherwise it's the kind of thing I would have just bought for myself. <laughs> we both have a Monster High doll collection, so. There's this brown comic that happens to be from Derry called NN Comics and they have this comic called Dura 2030. Ooh, from a sleeve. Basically sent in a futuristic Derry or London Derry for those who call it that. It's 2030, Derry's been sort of hit by this nuclear bomb and there's robots and futuristic stuff and I haven't actually read it yet. Here we go, it's set in a futuristic dairy that's been labelled with a nuclear blast or London dairy, however you want to deal with it. And there's sort of robots and crime fighters and I think, not crime fighters, but just superheroes. I mean, look at this, look at this, look at this. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, it's so beautiful. So, yes, I've got that off them. I'm going to put it back in my sleeve now. I'm a caring person. I am, honestly, probably a little bit. Got this from the NN Comics guys as well. Uh, it's a Doctor Who print, which I thought was quite cute, and I got that for Michael. So, because I'm nice like that. I'm very nice like that. I get gifts for everybody when I'm away. Gifts that they like. Not just candles, Michael, just saying. What I, everything I got at the Ireland Cosplay Con was my very first video on on my own from the Boy Geeks Girl channel. Go me, I did so. But thank you for making it this far, I suppose. And if you like the video, just hit that like button, give me a thumbs up because it's nice. If you like geeky things, and videos 
videos that will be better than this one, <laughs> subscribe. If you, you know, didn't like the video, just subscribe anyway, because you know what, I might have something you like eventually, and it's better to know that I'm there. And nanu nanu live long and prosper. Bye guys.